So this person is asking, how did I become self-aware of having narcissistic personality disorder? So I've been in psychotherapy dealing with narcissistic personality disorder since uh, 2017, so over, a little over five years now. And we've discussed this in my first instance of my lack of empathy was when I was like eight or nine years old. I remember a kid like fell off the like playground set right in front of me and like really, really hurt his arm. So he had to end recess. And I rem remember not feeling sorry for this kid. I remember getting angry at this child for ending recess early and things like that. So from a very early age, I've always kind of felt different and disconnected from my emotions. Like I knew I didn't fit in. I felt like an alien amongst people and things like that. If I didn't have a twin brother, I probably wouldn't have had a lot of friends and things like that. Having a twin brother that was cool, I could, I could kind of copy him and fit in. I was funny and things like that. So as I get older, all my relationships uh, with women started ending in the same way all of them like I would just get emotionally disconnected from that person just overnight sometimes I'll be madly in love with this person and then I would be out of love with that person in a couple of weeks or just wake up one day and not recognize the person or just try to understand why I was out of love with this person you know what I mean I had been married for about two years and I had like a six month old son so this is 2017 and I remember like, yelling and screaming at my six month old son for holding me back and things like that because I was blaming him like most narcissists and toxic people do blame their kids for holding them back and things like that and my wife just happened to come home when i was yelling and screaming at my six seven month old son and me and her got to arguing and things like that and she called me a narcissist as she left out the door of course i didn't know what narcissist was back then i thought narcissist was just egotistical so i called her narcissist back but in my anger and rage, I got on Google and typed in narcissist and, you know, Google autofill stuff and said, did you mean narcissistic personality disorder? You know, I'm like, I didn't I didn't mean that. But, you know, let's go down this rabbit hole and going down that rabbit hole. Just, you know, you see the signs and symptoms and things like that of, you know, NPD. And that just brought me clarity and peace because I like I finally had the answers as to why I felt different. I finally had the answers as to why my emotions didn't click, why the, my, my lack of empathy, my lack of feeling, my lack of caring for a lot of stuff, my feeling out of place my entire life, you know what I mean? My lack of memories before I was eight or nine years old. So I remember texting my wife, like, look, I am a narcissist, like, and there's no cure for it, but look, I can go to therapy and I'll, I'll commit to going to therapy if you come home, just like narcissists do. I'll, I'll bake you into coming home. So she came home in, in March of 2017, but I ended up going to therapy. I joined some self-aware narcissist Facebook groups in 2017, in March, but I ended up going to therapy October of that year. And this is the first email that I sent to my therapist, October 11, 2017. Hi, I just wanted to see about possible counseling. I'm 99.5% certain that I have NPD, and since becoming aware of, it, aware of it is almost unbearable so even before getting diagnosed with narcissistic personality disorder I, had, I already knew i was a narcissist and i'll be in therapy for the rest of my life for it and i'm okay and i started this platform to raise awareness and to get more people into therapy hope this helps